talking about one of the most important topics in the recent scenario that is the Ukraine and Russia. So stick around right till the end because this particular topic is going to be something around most requested or most asked a topic in your GD session. Okay then, hello everyone and welcome to the next session of this GK series where we'll be talking about one of the most important topics in the recent scenario that is the Ukraine and Russia conflict. Across the television right now in the media what you will see is this war, details about these war, um, anything in regards to the new happenings, the timelines etc. Everything will be recorded in the media. However, we suggest you to go through this particular video because we will be looking at the past, we will be looking at the present and we will also be trying to analyze something with respect to the future as well. So stick around right till the end because this particular topic is going to be something around most requested or most asked a topic in your GD session when it comes to these MBA or uh, when it comes to your preparation post your MBA entrance exams. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Now. What exactly did Putin do even after all of these warnings were shared by the US president and other uh, nations as well? Now, Russian troops began arriving in ex-Soviet Belarus for military training on January 17th, which we've already mentioned. Washington announced an additional $200 million in security help to Kyiv two days later. NATO is on high alert. NATO put troops on alert and sent ships and fighter jets to shore up Europe's eastern defences on January 24th. What happened the very next day? The next day, Moscow conducted military drills in southern Russia near Ukraine and in Moscow annexed. All right? Next, Crimea involving 6,000 troops and at least 60 fighter jets. On 26th of January, Washington refused to close NATO's door to Ukraine. All right? calling several of Moscow's security demands unrealistic. All right. Why, what do they really mean by calling it unrealistic? According to them, the way the Russians are trying to put it across that, you know, our security will be threatened if at all Ukraine joins hands or is a part of NATO. That itself is unrealistic in nature according to Washington. All right. Now, Putin claimed on January 28th that the West has overlooked Russia's core concerns about NATO expansion and has deployed strike weapon system near Russia's border. Right? Let's move on. Now, very important part guys, USA ka involvement is me yaad rakhna bahut important hai because while we know the two uh, main parties involved in this war are Ukraine and Russia, we also need to take into account USA. Right? So, on 2nd of Feb, the US moved 3,000 troops to Eastern Europe to bolster NATO forces. Okay. Then on 10th of February, Russia and Belarus began a 10-day military drill. What I suggest you guys to do is keep this timeline also in mind. If you put in the dates while talking about in your GD sessions, it's going to be a definite add-on. So 2nd Feb ko kya hua, 10th Feb ko kya hua, next let's look at 15th Feb ko kya hua. 15th Feb ko Moscow said that some of its forces would be returning to their bases. NATO on the other hand ha maintained that there was no evidence of a pullback. While they said that some of its forces would be returning to their bases, there was no actual sign of a pullback. All right. Now, artillery fires, shelling intensified all along the front line of the two Russian-backed enclaves in eastern Ukraine on 17th of February. Right? Let's move on. Okay. Next up, what happened was Ukraine started preparing for war. Now, is there a threat of an attack? Was something that was thought about on February 19th. UK an Ukraine announced that two of its soldiers had been killed. Uh, all right, at the front line clashes with separatists backed by Russia. As Moscow test fired nuclear capable missiles, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky offered a meeting with Putin. 
according to washington russia is on the verge of invading ukraine this is all that was discussed on 19th of february ukraine claims to have killed about 50 russian occupiers while repelling on onslaught by Mos moscow backed rebels so what really happened is that on 19th of february two of their soldiers ukrainian soldiers had been killed in the front line clashes with separatists backed by russians all right now ukraine ne in return kya kya with the clashes happening they killed about 50 russian occupy occupiers while repelling onslaught all right now let's look at the next part let's understand the condemnations and sanctions coming into the picture now putin acknowledges the existence of the rep separatist republics all right putin acknowledged the independence of two rebel districts in eastern ukraine in a televised address on february 22nd on the peacekeeping mission putin dispatched russian troops to repel territories in the eastern ukraine now what happened next was that the united nations and the majority of its members blasted russia's actions during an emergency security council session a few hours later all right russia will face further sanctions according to the us the eu would also impose penalties uh, according to joseph borrell the bloc's foreign policy leader russian foreign minister sergei lovrov uh, who is set to meet with belkin in geneva on thursday still available according to moscow all right let's move on okay next up we are talking about something that's actually happening right now all of these things mentioned were more so around the past what's really happening right now putin declares military action in an unexpected broadcast on thursday putin announced a military intervention in ukraine he urged ukrainian forces to lay down their weapons and he argued that he wanted to form a soviet state demilitarized but not occupied all right so this is what he held on to while referring to what exactly was he planning on doing he wanted the state to be demilitarized but not occupied all right now explosions were heard in ukraine's capital which is kyiv as well as many cities near the front line and along the country's shoreline before morning explosions were heard dimitro kuleba uh, which is ukraine's foreign minister accused putin of conducting full-scale invasion all right there was a full scale in uh, scale invasion coming into the picture martial law was also declared by zelensky who eventually uh, severed diplomatic ties with russia maximum losses ukraine's military chief said that he had orders from zelensky to repel a russian invasion and inflict maximum casualties all right what happened in all of this which was a silent spectator by this point of time is china called for restraint on all sides and said is closely watching the latest situation guys remember china has a lot of weapons china is extremely crucial to this particular situation they have been watching closely it's about understanding who they side with eventually I'm like